folks, as I'm here with another ritual for a church of use. It is December 12th, 2000, sorry, December 13th, 2021. And it's just now sunrise, so it's kind of like the boundary between the 12th and the 13th. So we're lighting both Jesus candles, both St. Jude candles. Because people often are afraid to play the St. Judas because they were afraid of playing St. Jude because they were they thought they might accidentally be buried with this Judas. Well we want to pray to Judas or to worship Judas because Jesus told Judas in secret prophecy in the Gospel of Judas that he would be worshipped after being despised for a very long time. And he told him other things too. It would end war and start democracy. So that means it's up to us to start democracy at this time. And I have a blessing that I say, which is, Goddess bless you, Jesus bless you, Judas bless you, I bless you, and bless yourself. And when I say that, it reminds me to say that even to myself, that my conscious mind can say, bless yourself, to my subconscious mind. And I can hear myself in ways that I don't usually listen. And that's what Judas is all about. Listening to the things that have been forgotten and lost and missed. And for some reason Jesus calls him the 13th. I don't really understand how he's the 13th because he seems like maybe he's the 13th including Jesus. At that time, they're having this conversation the night before they both were killed. And... There wasn't a 13th disciple, but Jesus does call him the 13th, so I'm still mystified by that myself. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, but that's why I wanted to do this now, at this cusp between the 12th and the 13th at sunrise. And as you can see, the sun is rising behind me, a beautiful red color I'll try to show you. It's going to be a beautiful day, but we also have a lot to work to do as a species, as humans, to reclaim humanity from some evil forces that have been threatening it recently, threatening democracy. And we've had this vision for democracy and a vision that Jesus gave us of love for a long time now, but we haven't really lived up to it. We haven't had it fully in our hearts, and we, we can now. We will now because a new era is starting. But thank you for joining this. This is the Church of Judas. Um, it will replace all Christian churches, I guess, in 2023, but maybe in the next two weeks. Um, but we shall see next two, three weeks, or in 2020, sorry, in 2022, or in 2023. I mean, it's, it's Jesus' time. So he said it would be happening after a long time of despising Judas. That has already happened. That part came true. Now that we have the tools and the insights and the information to be able to revere Judas as he deserves, then the time can be now. Um, for more information on that, see the other videos of the Church of Judas, the other rituals, but also my book, The Book of Judas, and the prequel, The Art of Betrayal by God. Um, thank you all for watching, and as I said before, the blessing is God has blessed you, Jesus bless you, Judas bless you, I bless you, and bless yourself. might just blow these out and see how they go. But thank you, Judas. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Goddess. Thank you for watching. And thanks to the beautiful sunset, or sunrise, as it is. And have a beautiful day. I love you forever. And see you soon. Stay tuned.